What is up guys, Brady here, and today I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you my homemade laptop fan cooler. Um, so basically what this does is you set your laptop on this surface, and these fans right here will cool the insides, um, which should allow for um, better performance in your laptop so it doesn't overheat, so it doesn't slow down um, while you're playing games or video editing or doing whatever you may be doing that will intensely use your laptop. So I have this custom fit to my specific laptop with these brackets here. So I have the Lenovo Y700. So I can just set this right on there. And you can see that the brackets fit perfectly to the laptop. Just like that. And there is also a grill on the bottom where all the heat exhaust goes right there um so obviously i have the fans aligned to that now if you were making this for any other laptop you would obviously put the fans where it's going to be most effective so that's what i did now you're probably wondering well brady how the hell does this turn on you just set it on there and the fans magically turn on no it's actually powered through usb so Here's the here's the USB cord right here. So I have it all packed up, but all you have to do is just put it through the hole as usual. You know how to do that. And you plug it in through USB and you flip this switch and it'll turn on. So I'll just give you a little demo. So I'll actually plug it in to my laptop right here. If I can find the hole. A little bit of a tight fit, guys. Oh, there we go. So you can see it's plugged in right there. Now if I flip the switch, you can see that the fans begin to spin and um, produce air. Obviously, I have them lined, so the air comes out this way. Now just for proof that there actually is airflow, if I take this little piece of paper and I put it up next to it, you can see that there is airflow. If I put it away from the fan, it goes back to being straight. And it bends when I put it up to the fan. Now if I let go, it just blows right away. Now honestly, when I was finished with this thing, it kind of blew me away. <laughs> Shitty joke of the day. But anyways, um, yeah, so there's just proof that there's actual air coming through. Now here's what it would look like when I have everything set up. Obviously you can tuck this cord in if you want to. It's usually what I do, but just for video purposes... I'm just going to keep it just like this. Um, so yeah, you would have it plugged in, then you would flip the switch in the bottom, and you can hear the fans beginning to spin. And that's that's basically it, honestly. You just set it on there, and um, you just freaking do whatever you got to do. should help with the performance. Okay, let me just shut this off. Now, another thing you're asking me, well, Brady, how did you make this thing? Like, what... What did you do to make it how you did, or get it to how you look? So, how it looks, not how I look. Anyways, so this is 3 8 inch plywood, this main surface. Um, this whole thing is spray painted with blue spray paint, and then three coats of polyurethane, which gives it the little shiny gloss look. As you can see, that's the reflection of my window. And these right here, the little feet things, are 2x4s that have been cut in half, so, I don't know, a 1x4, <laughs> um, I don't even know, that was probably terrible, terrible math, but anyways, so yeah, these are just 2x4s cut in half, and that's basically it, I just uh, super glued these nuts down right here to uh, help the, the uh, USB cable stay in place so it doesn't flop all over, and then I used hot glue to keep the wires from shorting out and stuff. And then I also super glued the switch down, and I use um, screws to fasten the fans down. Now, one other thing I might do is take a piece of, like, I don't know, plexiglass or acrylic see-through plastic and just screw it on the bottom so I can have it set on my lap without having the fans stop because if I do set it on my lap... Um, the fans will stop spinning because 
obviously there's pressure against him, but um, if you have something to stop the fans from being stopped, that would also be a lot more efficient, so you could just have it on your lap. But also see-through would look pretty cool anyways, just so you could like see the insides and the fan spinning and yeah. And I know I said in the very, very beginning of this video that I had it custom fit to my laptop, which is true. These brackets are perfectly fit for my laptop, and the fans are perfectly placed for my specific laptop. Laptop, But this is a 15 and 15.6 inch laptop, and so is this one. Just, I think this, this is my brother's laptop. And guess what? This also fits perfectly to the brackets. So with that being said, in theory, most 15.6 inch laptops should be able to fit this. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have to show you for today. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. Drop a like and um, give me some video ideas. If you have any questions for me, I can make a Q&A video. Uh, just drop your questions in the comments. And yeah, that's it for today. Peace.